Hello, hello everyone. So I thought we'd open some Disney doorbells today and some Disney store edition mini brands. Um, mainly because I need cheering up. I feel like McDonald's is playing with my feelings, y'all. They really, really are. Um, now I know why America runs on Dunkin' because, uh, we ain't loving McDonald's over here. Um, so first off, uh, to start, uh, this video... Yesterday, we go to mobile order me and my sister-in-law before doing some Christmas shopping, and I'm getting, like, a sugar-free French vanilla iced coffee. That's my usual because I have blood sugar problems, and if I drink a coffee with sugar in it, my blood sugar will just, like, spike to, like, 500 and be like, adios, see you later. Um, so I don't drink sugary coffee. So I order this French vanilla iced coffee. We're waiting, like, 20 minutes. Finally, my sister-in-law is like, I get the gut feeling like, this just ain't right. Like, we shouldn't be waiting 20 minutes for a coffee. And so she goes inside, and she shows them the modal order, and they're like, yeah, the line was long, and we're short-staffed, so we just, like, took your order off the board and canceled it. And she's like, what do you mean you canceled it? You you charged us, and you didn't refund us. And they were like, yeah, well, we're short-staffed, and the, the line is long. We were serving other people. And so they canceled my order, didn't bother to tell me. So my sister-in-law is like, look, you got two choices. You can refund us for that coffee you just canceled. Um, or you can make my coffee while I wait right here for it. Like, those are your options. You're not just, we're not paying for a coffee we're not getting. They weren't even going to tell us. We would have been there all day. And so today, y'all, I DoorDash McDonald's because clearly... I have a coffee problem, um, clearly, uh, and I had hopes that, you know, maybe yesterday was a mess up, like, they'll get my coffee right today, like, surely they can't cancel a DoorDash mobile order, and don't worry, they didn't, but what they did do is I ordered this, like, biscuit egg and cheese sandwich, not egg and cheese, it's like a biscuit sausage and egg sandwich, right, it doesn't even come with cheese, they throw some cheese on that thing, and I'm lactose intolerant, so I'm like, this isn't worth getting sick over. I shoot my sandwich out. I'll eat my hash brown. It's all good. So then I drink my coffee, and I order, like I said, sugar-free French vanilla iced coffee. It's what I always order. There is no taste of French vanilla in this coffee, and there was, like, f there must have been, like, four packets of sugar just, like, dumped in this thing. Um... Because you could feel, like, the sugar on your tongue. You know how when you put sugar in coffee and it, like, it's cold so it doesn't dissolve? And it, and if you don't, like, stir it and you can, like, feel the little grains of sugar? I could feel the grains of sugar on my tongue. And my coffee was so sweet, I couldn't taste my coffee. So I, I'm not in a good mood. I drink, like, a third of my coffee and my blood sugar is, like, 264. So I can't even finish my coffee. So... Y'all, pray for me, because this is, this is not my day. Like, it's already starting out as a day that needs to be turned around somehow. Um, and, and Disney will do that for me, okay? Disney will not let me down, right? It's, it's not possible. Um, so we have these Disney, uh, adorable Disney villains from, like, Five Below. It includes, like, little black light figures. Um, and we're gonna open these. Um, because I'm fed up with my day and, and I need some joy. Uh, so which figure did we get? Uh, you can definitely tell that's Blacklight and I think I know which figure it is. Um, so there's like a little, uh, list so you can see which figure you're getting. There's, what, like 10 figures? I got Hades. I, th I think that's, it. it's definitely Hades. I knew by his, like, little purple hair. Um, he's kind of adorable. He looks so angry. Why do I like that so much? I feel like I shouldn't like how angry he looks, but I'm kind of living for Hades with the pink and the purple and the green. Like, Hades looking cool. So, we got Hades, and I kind of want Maleficent next, because I really, I, I like Maleficent a lot. Um, you can get, like, Ursula, Scar, you can get Maleficent as a dragon or in her Maleficent form. 
Jafar, Lady Tremaine, who was like that villain in Cinderella, the evil queen, Cruella de Vil, and the Queen of Hearts. So let's see if I got lucky. Give me Maleficent. Give me Maleficent. Okay, uh, who did we get? We got, we got the, um, Queen of Hearts with her little crowns. I'm not disappointed. I like it. She's blue. She's got like a little heart in her mouth, um, with a little checkered dress. Um, I feel like the colors are very loud, but that's, I like loud colors. So I, I'm good with that. That's, that's not bad. Um, I plan on, like, wrapping this stuff up and, like, putting a little Christmas display in my dollhouse in the back. Um, the one, the one all the way in the corner, the little monster high one, because, you know, Halloween and Christmas go great together. We've seen The Nightmare Before Christmas. Those are two, those are two themes that, like, work really well together. So now we got our Disney Dorables. There's like 60 to collect. Uh, they're made by like Zuru 5 Surprise. And I really like their blind bag toys. There goes my headphones. Um, but we have, you can get like some, like a Disney character, a Pixar character, Marvel or Star Wars. Um, I'm not really looking for like anything Star Wars in particular. Um, like I like Star Wars. I watched like The Mandalorian um, I thought The Mandalorian was pretty good, like, I liked that. I love Marvel movies, but, like, I don't know, give me some Disney princesses today. If I can open this. This is really hard to open. Why are you so hard to open? Why, why are you playing me like this, Disney? Okay, there we go. And mind you, there's going to be a whole nother wrapping paper under this. Um, I already know this from experience opening these. Um, it's like a clear plastic. Like, why do we need two pieces of plastic around this thing? That, that feels like overdoing it. And I can't even find the little, the little like, thingy to oh, peel it right here. Here it is. Nah, I'm gonna just use my scissors. <laughs> Forget this. This is... There we go. I always have trouble, like, opening these. That's like, um... I've been on a lot of dexterity in my fingers, um, since, um, I had a brain injury a few years ago, so these things always like to give me trouble. Um, I was not meant to be a handyman. I am good at fi fixing nothing. I am wicked good at fixing nothing. Like, <laughs> I, I can't fix a thing. Like, I am not one of those people, uh, that, that should be a handy person. I would hammer my thumb. Um, because I'm just not good with tools. Um, I did actually make a cat post in, like, woodshop with the help of the woodshop teacher. Um, I did need a lot of assistance, um, making it, but it was fun. Um, and I was really proud of that cat post. I gave it to my mom for, for Christmas. Um, so my editing software cut out for, uh, for like, like my recording software for two of our mini brands, um, the first one we got was this little Star Wars dude. Um, it is Kylo Ren. Um, he, he's, he's kind of cool. Like, for a Star Wars figure, not a bad one because you can actually, like, see the action figure. Um, and then the second one we got was this uh, Minnie, Minnie Mouse little car with the remote. And I was super excited about this mini brand um but yeah I was trying to edit the video together and I'm like some of my footage is missing I don't know what happened um so I figured I'd edit this in the middle of where my footage cut off 
Um, apparently it just cut off and then it started recording again. Um, so I don't know. Um, I don't know what happened. I'm not questioning it. Um, but yeah, I, I love these like remote control cars. I love that they actually did had like did the detail and added the remote control and like the, the, the back oh the back of these boxes gets me because like this one shows like other action figures you can collect like they're just really detailed and i liked that um so i liked the, I, I liked those two a lot and i thought that they were worth showing um so i guess back to the rest of the video where where my footage just started recording again um and uh yeah enjoy the rest of the video packaging i don't know why like i don't want the ones that look like they're cardboard boxes that just irritates me um which is exactly what the next one's going to be um so this is a um like i guess mickey mouse grill barbecue grill set but it's literally just the box there's nothing inside the box is empty um those ones are not my favorite to get like i want to see like the little toy inside you know like i get i get this is cost effective probably and that's great and all but i don't know it's it looks nice in the dollhouse it's just not my favorite um so we'll put that to the side at least it's mickey mouse like if i'm gonna get a cardboard box it better be a Mickey one. <laughs> like, if you're gonna stick me with the cardboard box, I'll accept it if it's Mickey Mouse, you know? Like, like we all good if it's Mickey Mouse. Okay, what's the next one? <gasps> oh, Snow White! I got Snow White! I'm so excited. Yeah! Um, Snow White was awesome, living with the seven dwarfs like she she was awesome defeating like her evil stepmother oh, i love snow white love snow white that's cool and the little action figure is like glued into the box on the back um i love how they even have like a scene from the movie on the back of the box like i have so many disney dolls um so i like getting them in miniature i think it's really really cute um, and we have one last one to open. And our last figure is a lightsaber. A Star Wars lightsaber, which I'm actually not that upset about. Like, um, I kind of like the lightsabers. Like, if you gave me a lightsaber in real life and you gave my brother one, we'd probably battle with those things like we're five. Um, if I'm being honest, so the lightsaber is actually really cool. Um, I really like it. It's even got Yoda on it. Like, I love baby Yoda. I love little Yoda. Um, so I'm pretty happy overall with the minis I got. Um, and these will look great wrapped up or maybe put in little boxes. Like, maybe the boxes, like, little jewelry comes in. Um, and then I can put like a little ribbon around it and tie it and put them under the, the dollhouse. Um, because that is the, the goal. My dolls need a very Merry Christmas. I need a very Merry Christmas. Uh, we all need a very Merry Christmas. And okay, so the last, uh, thing that I got my dolls, uh, for Christmas that is Disney themed, um... I almost forgot about it, uh, but I just remembered it was a Disney Tum Tum. Um, clearly, I like Disney blind bag toys, okay? Um, yeah, I like them a lot. And I have a few of these, like, miniature Tum Tum things that I got. Um, but not these specific ones. And on the back, it almost looks like they're, like, a little pillow. Uh, they're just little collectible plushes. Uh, so I dug it out and I thought we could also open this one today. Um, I didn't mention at the beginning of the video. I completely forgot I had it. Um, which is me to a T. I forget a lot of things. Um, but let's see <laughs> if I can get it open. I'm gonna need to use, like, scissors. Oh, no. No scissors needed in the opening of this plushie. Um, it is actually like the other ones that I got. It's like the same size. I stack them on this little like 
shelf in one of my dollhouse bedrooms um and and my dolls collect them because I used to collect so many stuffed animals and I love ones like this my dolls also use them as little pillows I put them on the bed this one looks like it's Simba maybe not no not Simba it's not Simba because Simba has like the little hairs on its head uh maybe Nala because it's definitely from the Lion King um, let me know if you think that's Nala. Maybe it's, maybe it could even be Simba's daughter. I don't know which lion this is. I just know it's from the Lion King. Uh, I don't think it even says on the tag which one it is. Um, I wish, because it shows you on the back which ones you can get. I wish it actually, like, I don't know, showed us what their names were. Um, because there's a lot of lions in the Lion King um, this was series three. Uh, I forgot to mention what the other uh, series were for the other blind bag toys we opened. The Disney mini brands uh, were series two and whatnot. So um, yeah, um, and so it's a fun day. I got I got a little plushie here. I love these little Disney Tum Tums. They're so small and easy to collect. Um, even if you're not a doll collector, I think kids would love these, like, to find these in their stocking. You can line them up on your desk, like, wherever you want to, because they're just small and squishy. They make a nice, like, fidgety kind of toy. Um, but mine are gonna be for my dolls in the dollhouse for Christmas. Um, <laughs> can anyone tell I'm a little overboard when it comes to my dolls? Like, they get in their own Christmas, they get in their own, like, Pillow pet. That's what I picture it being is like the pillow pets we had growing up. Anyone else had a pillow pet? No? Okay. Well, on that note, I will see you all tomorrow. Bye, everyone.